Hi friends! In one of the previous videos, we reviewed the design of a simple converter from 12 to 220 volts. Today we will continue to review the circuit and make some improvements. The original circuit provides no more than 50 watts of output power. Moreover, the winding of the master transformer is quite complicated, and as you remember, in the past video I suggested another generator with a simpler transformer. Transformer control of power transistor gives a lot of advantages. First, there is no need for an additional driver for transistors management, since the transformer provides a fairly large control current, and if the control current is fed from a separate low power source, we get a complete galvanic isolation between the power section and the control circuit. But bipolar PNP transistors, which here are used as power switches, can't commute the large current, so there isn't much power output. It's only about 50 watts. There are several ways to solve this problem. The first option is to include several switches in parallel, thereby increasing the total current, but bipolar transistors in power pulse circuits are the last century decision. Only a couple of field effect transistors will solve the problem completely. But the P-channel FETs are expensive and rather rare, so I decided to use more common N-channel transistors, and the circuit is now looking this way. I use the cheapest and most up-to-date IRFZ44, but other types can also be used with a current of 30 amperes and more. Of course, the more the current reserve of the keys, the greater the output power of the inverter as a whole. You can find the right products for your criteria on AliExpress, and Ali Tools will help you in this case. This is a very convenient and most importantly trusted browser extension, which will allow you to track the dynamics of price changes for a particular product, to find out the seller's rating, and even to track the parcel. A very convenient option. I will leave the link in the description. It is free, and it is installed with just one click. With these components, the output power will be around 150 watts. If this isn't enough, then several keys can be connected in parallel. This will double and even triple the power of the converter. But at the output of the converter, we still have an alternating voltage with a frequency of 10 kHz. Therefore, the inverter can only supply passive loads such as soldering ions, incandescent lamps, etc. For the sake of justice, it should be pointed out that modern TVs, monitors, computers, power adapters of all devices use impulse power units with a diode recitifier at the input, and these diodes work fine at frequencies of 8 to 10 kHz or more, so usually no problems will arise with feeding such devices. It is possible to add a diode bridge to the output of the inverter and a small smoothie capacitor, but in this case the voltage will be greater than 220 volts as the capacitor will be charged up to the amplitude value. This inverter can fit literally any loads. Exceptions are motors and network transformers designed to operate at frequencies of 50 to 60 Hz. Among disadvantages is the lack of voltage stabilization, and the output voltage will fluctuate in one direction or another depending on the load and the supply voltage. There is no normal protection against short circuits and low input voltage. Unlike the original circuit, this option is afraid of short circuits at the output, so the circuit is protected by a pair of fuses. They are selected based on the output power of the converter. A couple of words about the power transformer, about core and parameters of the primary winding I told in the first part. The secondary winding in my case is wound by a wire of 0.5 mm and contains 220 turns. I will add only that power transistors need to be installed on the radiators. If using a common radiator, you don't need to isolate the transistors. As the circuit is very simple, the PCB is not required at all. If the assembled inverter doesn't start at all, or after start the power transistors heat up, you need to interchange the ends of the master winding for one of the transistors. Well, this video has come to an end. Please leave your feedback and I will record the video with the next revision of this converter. We will add protection against short circuits and low voltage on the battery. Just remember to share the video with friends. All the necessary documentation for the assembly of this inverter is in the description. Have a nice day! With you was Kaslan TV Channel. Goodbye!